Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can successfully duboot Windows 10 or 11 with Pop OS. The one thing that sets Pop OS apart from the majority of other distributions is that it doesn't use Grub as its default bootloader. In fact, it uses something called System D Boot. And if you try and install Grub on Pop OS, at least one of the latest releases, it's very likely that you end up breaking the system. And the reason for that is that a lot of the updates that Pop OS passes through is tied to System D Boot, and that does include firmware updates to the hardware they sell. Now, it is technically possible to manually set up a dual boot using System D Boot, but if I'm honest, it's a bit of a pain to do so. Uh, in particular, you need to copy the EFI folder from your Windows installation into the boot folder in the Pop OS installation. Then you need to edit the System D Boot config file and then change the timeout value so that it now reads at least 10 seconds. Now, in theory, if you've done both of these steps, at that point you will eventually see the System D boot menu, and that will allow you to choose between booting into Pop OS or Windows. If I'm honest, this is not a user friendly method of dual booting, especially if you're a new user, which Pop OS is normally aimed at. Instead, as an alternative, I recommend having a look at RE Find. Now this is a cross-platform boot manager, meaning that you can have install this on Windows or Linux, and once it's installed, the next time you turn on your computer, you'll, you'll see it appear, and it appears gives you a full GUI interface where you can select which operating system you wish to boot into. Now unfortunately you can't actually install RE Find through the pop shop, instead we'll be using the terminal. So if you open up a terminal window, and it's just a single command we need to run, and that is sudo apt install refind. Now, if this is the first time you're installing refind, then you'll find that it'll prompt you to add the refind configuration to the ESP file. I'll confirm that whenever you see that. Otherwise, reboot the system, and then next time you turn it on, you'll be greeted by the refind interface. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually record this when it appears on my system, but you should see something similar to the image displayed here. As you can see, if you want to boot into Windows, you select the Windows icon, and if you want to boot into Pop OS, you can select the Pop OS icon. Now, Refind itself is very customizable, and you can actually create different avatars for each operating system. You can set up a brand new background, and you can also modify the selections that appear and hide them. But that's beyond the scope of this particular video. Either way, once you've done that, you've now successfully set up a dual boot of Windows and Pop OS. And most importantly, you've not actually broken anything at all. So, with that, it brings this video to an end. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, check out the rest of the content on this channel, and if you like what I do, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye now.